This creamy, white, and milky substance is called royal jelly. Royal jelly is a specialized food reserved for queen bees within the hive. Worker bees produce royal jelly and feed it exclusively to nurture future queen bees. When a colony needs a new queen, the worker bees select a few very young larvae and feed them royal jelly. This exclusive diet of royal jelly triggers a series of physiological changes in the selected larvae, allowing them to develop into fertile queens rather than sterile worker bees. Also known as the superfood of the beehive due to its exceptional nutritional content, royal jelly is indeed more nutrient-rich than honey and is 50 times more expensive. And now people are eating it too, for $150 or more per pound. But harvesting this elixir can be a painstaking and labor-intensive process. Harvesting royal jelly is a delicate process, and if done incorrectly, young queen bees can be killed in the process. So, is royal jelly really worth it? And why is it too expensive? Within a honeybee hive, there are three primary types of bees. Workers, which are sterile female bees. Drones, the male bees. And queens, the fertile female bees. As larvae, all bees grow in these same type of cells and they are initially fed with royal jelly. But once the queen bee emerges from her cell, she is the only bee in the colony allowed to be continuously fed royal jelly throughout her life. To maximize the royal jelly production, beekeepers create artificial queen cells from beeswax designed to foster the production of royal jelly. These cells are larger and elongated compared to worker bee cells which are later fills with fresh young larvae, usually no older than 24 hours taken from other hives. The selected larvae are gently transferred into the artificial queen cells. This process is known as grafting. The artificial queen cells, along with the larvae inside, will be brought to the bee farm. The beekeeper will collect the artificial queen cells, which have been filled with royal jelly, and replace it with new. To ensure the bees continue to produce more royal jelly, the beekeeper will make sure the larvae inside the artificial cells to never develop into queens. In the absence of a queen bee in the hive, worker bees will often initiate the production of royal jelly to raise a new queen. This method of continuously replacing artificial queen cells filled with royal jelly helps beekeepers maximize the production. The collected artificial queen cells are now ready to be harvested. Before the harvesting, the beeswax seal on top of each cells will be cut off. The larvae will be first removed before collecting royal jelly. Usually, the bee larvae may be returned to the hive if they are very young and not significantly harmed during the harvesting process. In other situations, they may be discarded or used as a food source for other animals.
Then by using a pipette, the workers will gently extract the royal jelly from the open queen cell. Royal jelly is highly perishable, so the process needs to be efficient. Harvesting will be done promptly after the queen cells are opened. Harvesting royal jelly using a pipette is indeed a delicate and precise process. Beekeepers and researchers who specialize in royal jelly extraction have the necessary expertise to carry out the process effectively. Once the royal jelly has been carefully filtered to remove any impurities, bees parts, or other debris, it then fed into a homogenizer machine. Inside the machine, it goes through a series of mechanical processes designed to break down any remaining particles. This is to ensure the product is smooth and homogenous it is ready for the packaging stage. The containers are typically designed to prevent air, moisture, and contaminants from entering. This helps preserve the freshness and quality of the royal jelly. Proper packaging is vital to protect the royal jelly from contamination and environmental factors, ensuring that it reaches consumers in the best possible condition. Encapsulation is also a popular packaging method for royal jelly. Freeze-drying method is used in this process to remove moisture and create a dry, concentrated powder. Powdered royal jelly will be packed into capsule. It offers several advantages, making it a convenient and practical way to package this valuable substance. Royal Jelly Capsules are a widely available form of royal jelly products, often used for dietary supplements or health-related applications and popular due to its convenience and ease of use.